What's going on guys, it is Nikolai Gamer, and today for you guys I'm here with another episode of our Earthbound playthrough. In the last episode we defeated the Frankie Stein Mark II, got the key to Giant Step, I believe it's Giant Step, from the mayor in Onet, and we made it all the way to the end of it where we found the first Your Sanctuary location, but there was a thingy blocking it, I think it was like an ant or something, and um... We had to kill it, and we ended up not being able to kill it, so I was like, alright, we're gonna open up the next episode with that. So, here we are now. Um, I got us up to level 13. Um, I should probably... Let me use the life up real quick. Just to get all the way back up to where we were before. We have 122 HP, um, and we still have three of those... PSI games. I think it's just Sai. I think that's what it's pronounced, but whatever. Um, we're not gonna really read his text. We already this stuff what he said before, so Titanic Ant and Cohorts. Alright, so they're done. Okay, you dodged it. That's good. <gasps> oh my god. We did it. 759 XP. Wow. Do we just go in now? Oh, we can. Okay. There a phone in there? Yeah, giants. Whoa. Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Ness's sound still recorded the melody of the giant step. Oh, okay. Are we done? Do we just leave now? Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to need any of that for, but I guess we go now. It's a little weird. I'm not really used to doing that kind of stuff. Okay, got a cookie. I can't shake the feeling that we're not supposed to do anything. So, I've never noticed that, that the enemies repel themselves from you. They move a Oh, there's police there now, whoa. But I never noticed that they move away because you're too strong for them. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's pretty con uh, convenient. Like, look, they just disperse. That's convenient for me, because then I don't have to fight. I'm probably going to regret it later, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? There we go. Let's talk to you. Oh. Hey, you. The board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Yes. So you just didn't want to read the sign, huh, kid? 
Get your butt over to the police station later. I didn't read that at all. What if I didn't go to the police station? You know, like, what if I just didn't? All right, well, let's get into town. The police station. So here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that. And furthermore, blah 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 blah. It's usually those tax invaders who blah 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. Blah, 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 blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's okay. It's just... Tucson. <laughs> Times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Oh, you're gonna take me to Tucson? Okay. Show me what you got. If you can pass, get past five of my best men. I have to kill all of them? The cop attack. You mean turn back to normal? You're tough, you should join the police force. It's a little, like, unnecessary in my opinion, honestly. Eighty-six. I mean, at least there's- at least it's good XP. Bring it on, fat boy. Okay. Nuclear suplex. Come on, I'm taking you apart right here, right now, baby. Okay. It's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call my boss. Thank you. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts! Captain Strong. Before we do anything. So his offense is going up. Oh, what? Wow. 492. And we're now level 14. Paralysis. I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty Onet police force. Do you want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. 
Strong here. Do you read me? <laughs> hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the rover to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Yep. Alright, I think it's time to put the fate of the world in a ten-year-old's hands. It's about time something new happened in Onet. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Let's just go. Oh, see, they're running away again. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just going to PSI games. Boom. This game's getting simpler now. You know, I'm enjoying it. Oh, whoopsie. No, no, it's the wrong button. Hamburger. I got a hamburger. Ramblin' Evil Mushroom. <gasps> I've seen this in Super Smash Bros. Stop moving. 95 XP. Oh my gosh, they just get better, better and better each time. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, wow. Still get 95 XP. Okay. Don't know where we are. Oh wait. I'm not an enemy, just I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell enemies just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. Okay. This is very simple. One hundred and thirty two, geez, to Sun Town. So I have this mushroom thing on me. This picture guy, yeah. Am I going to take a picture with a mushroom on my head? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if, genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Oh no. Okay. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Alright. Can I go into the cycle shop and get a bike? This is the cycle shop, punk sure. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular from with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? I really like your straightforward style. Tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. 
you know that two people can't ride on one bicycle. So of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. D did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And if you don't even and don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Tucson Department Store. <laughs> what I do? Oh wow, escalators in this game? That's, that's cool. Oh, I can get that stuff. Oh, that's cool. Where's the ATM? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, is the ATM on the first floor, maybe? Something's wrong with this D-pad. It is not taking me. Yeah, I'm hitting the down button. Alright, so it's reverse now. So... I'm gonna have to figure out what just happened. It just switch directions oh that's what that does that's what the mushroom does it switches your directions that's so clever I forgot that it did that in Super Smash Bros. And I was sitting there like, why is this so familiar? So as he's releasing the spores, that's how it changes the direction. I mean... Oh, that is an ATM. 1,993 bucks. Let's get $500. Why not? Alright, I'm starting to hate this now. Oh, I can't equip that. Oh, that's why it darkened his thing. Okay, and then what do you offer? Teddy bear. So I'm assuming teddy bear um, is something I guess you equip that follows you and maybe it blocks your attacks. Because my friend was talking to me about it. And then cold medicine, cold remedy. Is that how I get this thing off my head? Look at the little teddy bear following me. Eee. Okay, um, I need to figure out how to move. This is getting annoying. Oh my goodness. If you guys could figure out what's wrong. Or no, not even figure out. Like if you guys could feel my pain. Oh my god, did we get back? Are we fine now? Is there like an inn or something I could stay at to fix my broken mind? Chaos Theater. It doesn't look much like a theater if you ask me. Okay, I... Hello. Please present your ticket. I do not have a ticket. What does this door go to? <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years. Unless you decide to pay off that debt. 
I'm not paying off anybody's debt. My 1,993 bucks in my ATM is from me and my banking account. For me and all my teddy bears. My god, I hate this so much. Oh my goodness. I don't know where to go. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to do a lot of exploring. You know what? Here we go. I think this is a good place to stop today's episode, and off screen, I'm gonna figure out. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Why don't we chat after we've locked horns? What? Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh. Oh, the teddy bear does protect you. Okay, yeah. The I was about to say, the teddy bear is like... Oh. I'm like, geez, he just came out of nowhere. 986. Level 15 now. Yes, I'm ever dread boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyways, I lost and I will, nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. Chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely cold, hardcore, st strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, alright? Don't forget. Wait, Paula isn't my sister Paula? Oh my god, the stupid D-pad. That's quite a cliffhanger to end the episode on, then. Because I think I'm going to stop it here. And the next episode, again, I will figure out how to get this friggin' mushroom off my head. And we'll be able to con continue on. As far as I know, we need to find Paula. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, I'm not forcing you to, but leaving a like always lets me know if I'm doing well uh, with this content and that you guys are enjoying it and everything. It lets me know so much. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.